They told me, son, you were born to do great things. They were right. I'm Atlas, and I aim to keep you alive. You think that's a child down there? She's a little sister now. Somebody went and turned a sweet baby girl into a monster. It's Ryan! Goddamn Andrew Ryan! Head to medical! Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch? Did that airplane crash? Or was it hijacked? What you was, what you was capable of, even that life you thought you had, that was something I dreamed of. You saved them. You gave them the one thing that was stolen from them. A chance. Sally! Sally, come out! She wasn't yours, Comstock. Elizabeth, I am so sorry. No, you're not. But you're about to be. Votre nom? Elizabeth. Pour vous, Elizabeth. Oh no, no, I, I, I couldn't. I, I can't accept. Je vous en prie, j'insiste. Oh, thank you. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Comment ça va, Elisabeth <rire> Bien le bonjour, mademoiselle. Bonjour, Elisabeth. Bonjour. Euh, bonjour, mon petit trésor. Je vais te croquer. Comment allez-vous Bonjour, Elisabeth. Bien le bonjour. Bonjour, mon ami. Alors, tu as parlé à la jolie petite américaine Oh, bonjour, mademoiselle. Bonne journée Comment ça va, Elisabeth Bonne journée Bonjour Bonjour Et si tu venais boire un verre avec nous Claude Sois pas jalouse, ma petite C'est pas interdit pour un homme de boire avec deux jolies filles
tuer avec nous, Elisabeth. I'm sorry, Cassette. Next time, I promise. Oh, dommage. Bien le bonjour, mademoiselle. Bien le bonjour, Elisabeth. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Comment allez-vous Je peux vous vendre tous les livres que vous voulez. Et pour pas cher, en plus. Do you have The Age of Innocence by Edith Wharton Désolé, ma petite. Celui-là n'a pas encore été écrit. Bien, bonjour, Elisabeth. Bonjour. bonjour Il va falloir que tu me guides. Parce que je me suis perdu dans tes yeux. Une baguette, mademoiselle Bonjour. Bonjour Elisabeth. Bonjour mademoiselle. Le pain est frais, le ciel est bleu et vous êtes resplendissante. Roquefort, camembert, bris de mots, les meilleurs fromages au meilleur prix. Elle est tellement plus belle en vrai, tu trouves pas Si tu veux mon avis, il y a des choses qu'il vaut mieux garder en vrai. Pas les deux. Empty. Empty again. <laughs> <laughs> 
What are the odds? What's the hold-up? Just having a bit of a laugh, Atlas. This ain't a sporting event. Put a bullet in her. No need to torture the poor girl. We're not animals, you know. All right, all right. Let her go! Quiet down, dear. In a minute, all your problems will be over. Elizabeth, tell him you can get him back. Fucker? Fucker. Uh, what? I don't understand. I can get, How? Say, I can get you back to Rapture. What? Just say it. I can get you back to Rapture. Put the gun down. Now. What was that you said about Rapture? I can get you back to Rapture. And how you plan on doing that, sister? You some kind of magician? Su Chong. What? Tell him Su Chong. Su Chong. And how do you know that slant-eyed wonder? You're his lab assistant. I'm his lab assistant. If it escaped your notice, Andrew Ryan sunk us 5,000 fathoms below his shining city. How does Su Chong propose to get us back? That's between me. That's between me. And the slant. And the slant. But if I do this, the girl goes with me. Little sisters are worth their weight in gold. She's not up for negotiation. Last time I checked, back in the city they were making little sisters by the dozen. That's a right fairy tale you've dreamed up, sister. But if you're lying, we can just as well kill you tomorrow. Down here, we got nothing but time. In case I need to get hold of you. If you see Su Chong, tell him. Atlas says he hasn't forgotten him. I didn't kidnap her. Uh, but she made for some exceptional bait, didn't she? Had to be done. Did it? I felt everything that every version of me felt. All of that knowledge. I lost a pinky, but that version of me, she lost everything. In Comstock, that final Comstock, he thought he could avoid his guilt by coming here. You educated him proper. But then why am I back here? Huh? I don't remember opening a tear to come back. And who are you? Huh? I think you'll figure that out soon enough. Dealing with this Atlas, this, this psychopath. What was I thinking? I wasn't Paris any more than I am Booker. Now I have to find this, this Su Chong, and I don't even know who that is. Not yet, but you know he's the key, don't you? To what? You're asking me, Elizabeth. I ain't even here. Atlas. Let me ask you a question. You feel like yourself, Elizabeth? I feel... I feel strange and smaller. I can't 
can't see the doors. What's behind the doors? I, I can't see the future. I can't even see any tears. Oh my god. Stay away from me. Booker. No. No. No, please. Please don't. I died here. I was killed by that... Stay away from me! But then, how am I... Here. How can I be dead in this world and yet... My finger. What am I? Huh? I don't understand. I... I... If we're going to end up in the same place, it needs to harm and to mind. Are you being cute? I've come round to your way of thinking. Have you? Yes. I do believe one can change things. But after all the bother, one often wishes that one had not. You're a fatalist. A physicist. A fatalist. So was Newton. Especially when it came to apples falling from trees. They always contrived to land with a splat. She left the child to rot. Are you implying she's the apple? I'm implying that she did not fall far from the tree. And now she wants to go back. I need to go back. To fix what I broke. Back to where she has no right to be. Back to where she doesn't belong. Doesn't belong? Wait, what do you mean? Do you want to tell her brother, or shall I? Because I died. There are rules. Even for one such as you. She'll forget. All the doors. And what's behind all the doors. All close to her now. She'll be just like the rest of us. Forgetting the past. The present. The future. I'd wager she won't even remember this conversation. We've arrived. You're trading omniscience and croissants for death and mildew. I left Sally to rot. For what? So I could punish Comstock? He was trying to help her, to save her, and I... If I don't make that right... We all have our crosses to bear. But there is a thin line between a martyr and a fool. Lutessa's warned me that if I came back here, I would collapse. Collapse? From a, a quantum superposition to just me. The quantum what? I've changed, Booker. No tears, no cosmic knowledge. Just a normal girl. With a normal pinky. I hate it. it. If I can't open tears, I... I'm never leaving here, am I? I'm never going back to Paris. You and you, you're just you. You're just what? You, you're you're just the fragments of my memory telling me what my future holds. You decided to come here, Elizabeth. You knew what that meant. Only option, as I see it, is to trust yourself. Find Su Chong. Huh? I think I'm gonna have to use this air grabber. It's gonna be messy. I don't know if. Well, a blow to the back of his head will serve just as well. Be a hell of a lot quieter, too. And that's not what you would have done. I'm not Booker. Just because your father did something one way doesn't mean you have to. You spit rabbit. You spit Frankie. 
And you leave me what? Nothing. You think I don't got a family to feed? I told Santa Cohn I'm always ready to cut a record. I put on a show. Said he'd call. I've been on a sabbatical for going on 15 years now. I get some work, but I want to get back to real acting. Women don't care nothing for character anymore. It's all money and looks. You'll want to get the drop on him, and quiet. Shh. He can't hear what's only in your head. Where'd you go last night? Out. Uh, honey pie? Well, he's not getting up anytime soon. And what with his head all attached to his body? From here on, it's only gonna get worse. And how much worse is up to you? Children, a clay, Bradburn. It's up to us to see they become Grecian urns and don't return to mud. Get them young enough, <laughs> and you can mold them for life. Henry, fetch that black label lacquer, that twelve-year-old single malt. Let's discuss this like men. Henry. Now, let's get his lockpick. Lockpicking can be easy, with the right tools and know-how. Use your lockpick to probe a pin. A neutral pin will open the door. A blue pin will open the door and knock free a noisemaker. A red pin will open the door, but also sound an alarm. Simple enough, just a six-pin tumbler. But there's an alarm. I could come in handy, though. Hello, children. I'm Ryan the Lion. I'm here to tell you about Peter the Parasite. If I bake a pie, isn't it mine to enjoy? No, says Peter the Parasite. We all deserve a piece. If I earn a nickel, isn't it my right to buy candy if I see fit? No, says Peter the Parasite. You must only buy fruits and vegetables. If I can afford to see the doctor, is it my concern that others cannot? No, says the damnable parasite. We must all crowd our way into the physician's office. Ryan the lion says, chew on that, you parasite.
sure you're ready to use that? It's a crossbow. Looks like the bolt delivers some kind of sleep agent. Probably fencyclidine or sodium thiopental. <laughs> they had all kinds of books in my tower. How do you think I always knew what ammo to toss you? No one ain't the same as being ready. Why don't you ask Comstock how ready I was? Your father's blood runs in your veins, but it doesn't have to be on your hands. It's up to you. Those who cannot create will always steal from those who do. Where is your empathy? Asks Peter the Parasite while he picks your pocket. of the commons. Peter the Parasite says share and share alike while he eats your lunch. Peter the Parasite says worship God above. Ryan the Lion points at the clouds and sees nothing but air. Dine on me. Look long and hard enough, the parasite will reveal itself. Look, Su Chong, that's the name you had me tell Atlas. Huh. I don't follow. Looks like this character Su Chong has taken over the Silverfin restaurant. That's. that's where the tear was that I used when I first came to Rapture looking for Comstock. Before this place was turned into a prison. But the first time you came to Rapture was in 1960, with Booker. When you drowned some. Over a year from now. Yeah, that. that that's right, I. <laughs> 
When I could see all the doors, it all, it all made sense, but now, now it's, it's just a jumble. Elizabeth, you're, you're bleeding. Now I know what it feels like. All right, if we're gonna find Su Chong, the Silverfin is the place to start. I know the way. Are you in the know? There has been a lot of idle talk from gadflies and naysayers following the nationalization of Fontaine Futuristics. I believe in free men and free markets. But I also believe in my city. And Frank Fontaine's purpose was nothing less than the destruction of Rapture. It was he who gave comfort to the laggards and layabouts. It was he who coddled the traps and vagabonds. Fontaine was poisoning the people of Rapture, but his venom wasn't made of arsenic or strychnine, no. It was concocted from something far deadlier. It was brewed from altruism. Now you know. Are you in the know? Human reproduction is vitally important to society, but there is no reason that the act of copulation cannot be pleasurable as well. Remember these tips. Sex is egotistical. Without self-esteem, those participating in coitus are revealed to be fraudulent, hypocritical animals. Ego is indispensable in the bedroom. Negotiate with your mate. Intercourse can be mutually beneficial to both parties. Set out expectations with your partner beforehand, outlining the services you will provide one another, and hold them to their side of the deal. Never forget, oral contracts and handshake deals are for starry-eyed gigolos. Always get it in writing. Your pleasure is your business. Remember, you come first. Nobody's going to keep an eye on your pleasure except you. Don't be left high and dry. Armed with this knowledge, go forth now and enjoy Sexual Congress the Rapture Way. Now you know. here as well. Right after I came through, I needed, I needed something to wear that was a little more rapture appropriate. Well, he didn't have these books in my tower. Friends? <laughs> of course he's got friends. 
But I always come first. Don't expect coddling from me. Are you some fickle child that won't relinquish your ugliest doll simply because it's yours? Receive your letter regarding our new line of peeping Tom plasmids and wish to respond thusly. Tough luck. This is Rapture, miss. What my customers do with my product is their business. If you are feeling uncomfortable, you are more than welcome to line the walls of your home in lead. If you wish, I could direct you to a reputable supplier. for lockers with actual locks on them. I come back from lunch and the ensemble I just bought is gone. Stolen! But here's what takes the cake. The thief left an outfit in exchange. At first I was gonna toss that thing. But then I kind of fell in love with it. <laughs> it's an old timey number with a corset, no less. It ain't exactly today's fashion, but I'm a girl who can tell good craftsmanship when she sees it. Disappear from sight, see through walls, and sneak up on your foes. I told Santa Cohen I'm always ready to cut. Splicers. We're on a show. Use this plasmid and see them through the walls, or if worse comes to worse, turn completely invisible and get the drop on them. Oh, well, what was that? It wasn't really Paris, it was more... It was more the world as I want to see it. I suppose I wasn't really happy there. We'd all be better off, us to wits, if we could leave well enough alone. It's a superb life, children. If you never, ever weaken. No. 
not fat, he's big bone. Just another look, see? Once I could see everything, every possible moment. And now. You're just like everyone else. Why? Why, because I died here? If I'm just like everyone else, I can't help Sally. I can't even get back to where I was. If you don't mind me asking, love, why are you talking to nobody? If I had pegged you for a loon, I might have had second thoughts on our arrangement. I'll hold up my end, but I better find the girl the way I left her. You're in no position to make demands, but I must confess, I do like a bit of sass in a lass. Doors, they're, they're cracking open. My memories of the future and, and somewhere I'm going to go. You sure it's your future you're looking at? If not mine, then, then whose? Atlas got Keep my distance, but if I watch myself, he could come in handy. Enemy of my enemy. <laughs> Welcome to the circus of value. No refund, no return. <laughs> This fella Atlas has been making the rounds down here, trying to bring some kind of order to this pit. All the splicers think the man walks on water, but something about him smells stink to me. Reminds me a bit of my former employer, Frank Fontaine. Always talking about how he was gonna lift Rapture right out of the old man's wallet. No fuss, no muss. See where that got him. What do you want? Let me in. I'm working with Atlas. I ain't heard nothing. Nobody gets you in without a kind word from the boss.
for a personal bathysphere? Ha, ah, I got just the thing. The tiger shark. It's top of the line. And, as luck would have it, steeply discounted at present. <laughs> Finest man-made materials. Knockout seats. Laminated panel and French bras. <laughs> All the way to plastics is nice, huh? Look at it. Let's step into my office and we can draw up a contract. Huh? Ah, uh, all that nonsense you heard about asphyxiation? Desperate that and you, honey? Slander from the competition. What are you? What? Not for you? Oh, okay, oh, oh, okay. No need to get sore, pal. I wasn't saying you're some kind of cheapskate or nothing. I said there's no need to get sore! Seems like central heating came from this room, so it would stand a reason that the ductwork should go to suit jobs. Wait a minute. Harassment. That's what this is. Incessant, unbounded pride in my respectable entrepreneurial affairs. If we seek out the fight, perpetually. Silver Finn. This used to be a restaurant when I first came through. Now it belongs to this Suchong. Looks like I'm not the first one who tried to get in here. Well, at least he left a trail. Dealings. Ha! Fallacy. 
personally. Dropped it on me somewhere. Come. Make yourself heard. Soon there's not gonna be an ounce of booze or a piece of ass for the taking. <laughs> uh, sometimes I think you've taken this whole Robin Hood business a bit too much to heart. Fontaine's got us out there ladling soup for the purpose of building an army. Not to share the milk of human kindness. You keep up this kind of behavior. I'm gonna start thinking there's more red in you than Karl Marx. What the hell? Splicers. Busting it! Harwitz! Tell Fontaine to burn was friendly to free enterprise. Did you come to Rapture because it seemed fashionable? Or did you intend to make something of yourself? If you don't keep ahead of the rest, you'll be resigned to follow.
not the strongest that survived, but the fittest. Those most capable of change. A good start is thinking for yourself. I never thought anyone would be able to bring all these degenerate splice heads into line. I gotta hand it to Atlas. After Ryan locked us up in this pit, I thought that was it. Just a long, final dive into the abyss. But he's given us hope. Or what passes for it down in Rapture. When a person's got nothing, hope's about the kindest thing you can give her. Or the cruelest.
Find me so unprepared as this one. would love some Who's company. Two months as his disciple, trying to get a line on his trafficking ring. Awful man. Why not just kill Comstock and be done with it? Comstock had to know why. He had to know that he deserved it. Did he? Did he deserve it? I suppose we all do. One way or another. Thank you. 
Hero always says it's important to be yourself. So here I am. Rapture 
found our man. No sign of him now. Either he's dead, or working for Ryan. Locked. And nothing to pick. But I come here for a reason, right? Isn't that why you told me to find Sutra? Well, technically, you told yourself. Thanks, I appreciate the reminder. Of what? My tenuous mental state. People ain't designed to see what you've seen. And now that you're just plain old flesh and blood, I'll be grateful you've got things this well held together. There must be something here I need to find. Something Su Chong was working on. leads back to Columbia. Plasmids, Vigors. He and Fink must have been in communication, sharing secrets. Like the Lutesses before they were physically together. Why did I need to come here? What does this have to do with Sally? You remember, don't you? It hasn't happened yet? I told you, I can't do that. Concentrate, Elizabeth. No, the doors are shut. they I use the Lutes particle if, if it can make a city float. It can make a prison rise. I can't open tears, but we could use this device to go to Columbia and find a particle. But it's been vandalized. You'll fix it. Sure. You know, my tower didn't come stock with the Lutes device repair manual. You will fix it. Yeah, I'll just... Elizabeth, you will fix it. Okay. Okay, there must be some information around. Before I knew it, Ryan had me bounced out of my own restaurant. And that Korean had the run of the place. <laughs> it was a good business, I tell you. I never should have told anyone about that light. About those weird buildings I saw floating in the clouds. And most of all, I never should have told no one about that girl who showed up one day in that old timey blue dress. imprint on the little brats. Yet Fink succeeded in imprinting his disgusting bird on his subject. How has Fink, this stupid man, succeeded where Su Chang failed? If Su Chang could obtain her sample of Fink's subject, Su Chang could determine delta of genetic material with little sister. Proof is in DNA pudding. Sodium, titanium. Why would these be on schematics for its code? A visionaire cipher. If if we assume hydrogen is A and iron the 26th element is C. You always used to need a code key. Or... It's right here. Never underestimate the fallibility of the egomaniac. Looks like a punch list for things Su Chong needs to fix the machine. A cold cathode tube. 
a carbon dioxide scrubber, and a heat sink. Any of the vending machines should have the cathode tube. And we can look for a CO2 scrubber in the bathosphere showroom. A lot of models should have them. A heat sink. Oh, that's... We're in a department store. Are we going to find... Keep your cool with old man Winter. That'll work. Time to find those parts. And then I just have to repair the most sophisticated piece of technology ever created. Elizabeth, you saw yourself make this repair. You can do this. Whatever you say. Guess we better find our way out of here. Atlas, you there? I need a favor. A favor? I don't suppose you've conjured up the miracle you promised yet? I'm working on it. I'm gonna need some old man winter. You might try where they hawk them new bathospheres. As I hear it, old man winter's the only thing keeps their batteries from bursting into flames after five minutes. Thanks. Think nothing of it, but it's the last favor you'll be getting. for vandalism of Suchung device is dead. Even for pretty lady. I suppose you'd be Suchong. Save your ammunition, your device doesn't work. Device will work? Vandal sabotage! You are vandal! Actually, I intend to fix your device. That is, unless you plan on coming down here and doing it yourself. It's not prudent for Suchong to return to lab. And you say you can fix... I broke your code, didn't I? Now just give me the one to open that door and we'll see what your creation can do. One, two, one, six. Your birthday? Enough of dark. Fix the machine. How'd you know that? Never underestimate the fallibility of the egomaniac. I do you all proud, gang. For the talent portion, I've chosen a song that's ever so dear to my heart, suggested by my dear, sweet mother. Pack up your troubles in your old kit bag and smile, smile, smile. While you the Lucifer to light your fag, smile, boys, that's the style. What's the use of Worrying, it never was worthwhile. So, pack up your troubles in your old kit bag and smile, smile, smile. again. Like 
chef, friends. Do not throw the ball in the house. Franklin! Bathospheres, there's bound to be CO2 scrubbers. But why is that? If you don't remove the carbon dioxide from the air supply in a submersible, it'll suffocate. And one thing I did like about Rapture lots of new books to read. That will need a long haul bathosphere, something where the CO2 buildup would limit the submersible period. Everything that will happen, and now, now I only see darkness. You sent yourself here for a reason. The debt. That's what you want to call it. This Atlas. I'm gonna have to kill him. Either that, or he'll kill me. Maybe so. I'm not you, Booker. Some war hero. I'm not even me anymore. No tears. No omniscience. Or. Whatever you want to call it. Just a whole lot of book learning. And a handful of lockpicks. The humpback whale. That thing is as old as the hills. Strictly bargain basement. You gotta wear an O2 tank and a mask. We won't find a scrubber on that. Oh, the 52 Mako. Classic. But it's a death drop. 28 known fatalities related to its use, carbon dioxide poisoning. And they're still on the market. Well, steeply discounted, though. There. The stingray. Submersible time of 90 minutes. That's our girl. All the way up there. The grease monkeys had to get it up there somehow. Just gotta find the controls. You were the worst kind of parasite. Let's keep everything. 
everything in order, shall we? Don't expect coddling from me. Are you some fickle child who won't relinquish your ugliest doll simply because it's yours? Time we dealt with our detractors! Check this stuff. Six times a week. A twelve on Fridays. Only way to be sure. into my respectable entrepreneurial affairs. around on the hydraulic lifts. It's some kind of make-out spot. Can't exactly blame them. God knows how boring it must be to grow up in Rapture. But their hormones are costing us money and this isn't an amusement park. I've locked the control room. The code is 7951. First, the law gets bribery. Then, You'll want some fella in my privy advising how I defecate. What's next, martial law? Seems to me you're against the guy making an honest buck. I thought Rapture was open for business. Ryan's minefield is well laid out, I'll grant him that. Yeah, but what security system made that ain't got a hole or two in it? And if I was taking book down at Fort Frolic, I wouldn't like my odds. If I jig left when I should go right, there ain't gonna be enough bits of me left to set a crab's table. That's what this is. Incessant, unbound crying into my respectable entrepreneurial affairs.
criminal dealings? Ha! Fallacy and misdirect sounded off. Probably a switcher on here somewhere. Of course, the buildings are being fabricated above the waves. But we will lower them on a lunette ring, submerged into the structure's steel frames. So much steel, you wonder. How will we keep so large a purchase from the government? Water is buoyant. We shall not frame Rapture in steel, but in aluminium. The government jackals may suspect me of building an air force, but never a city. Another coded message. Attempt to retrieve Ace in the hole from Su Chong unsuccessful. Ryan Private Security killed three of our men in the bargain. We'll need to explore alternate means of obtaining Ace.
Come back! We can work this out! Got it. Just need to find Old Man Winter and we're done. how I defecate. What's next? Martial law? Seems to me you're against a guy making an honest buck. I thought Rapture was open for business. <laughs> Fat cat. If that's what they call a fellow who's prosperous, determined, un... Love. I must confess, I'm becoming a wee bit skeptical. Remind me, why am I supposed to care? You see, me lads have taken a keen thirst for Adam, and there's a vintage right in front of me that'll do nicely. If you kill her, I truly hope you are happy living down here. Put down roots, raise a family. Or maybe you think Andrew Ryan is going to ride to your rescue. Fair enough. But remember, there are fast ways to harvest little sisters, and some very slow ones. Show yourself.
did this ain't far. Yeah? Atlas sent me here for some old man winter. You haven't been around here long, have you? What makes you say that? Because <laughs> eh, you're the only one of us who don't smell like the reptile house at the zoo. Now be quick about it, and just take the winter. This ain't the goodwill. So, uh, so Atlas asked me to figure out where to uh, strike first when we bust out of this place, but, you know, it all depends on when we get out, you know, I mean, November 5th, it's a big founding of Rapture Shindig at uh, Fort Frolic, Valentine's Day, you know, I mean, Arcadia is real popular, uh, I mean, it's near New Year's Eve, then, hey, we could pop the corks off all the stuffed shirts down at the Cashmere Restaurant. 
Memo to the sales team. While we deny all customer claims regarding purported burns they have received from, quote, overheating of 1958 bathyspheres, unquote, our marketing team has decided to give away flasks of Old Man Winter as part of a new promotional campaign. There will be no recall of the 58. No recall. Did you want to keep climbing Andrew Ryan's ladder? Just to watch him knock it down as you're reaching the top? The cards are stacked. What's a bunch of fine words? If there ain't deeds to back them up. Rapture was supposed to be different. But the only thing that separates it from the slums of New York or Glasgow or about a million gallons of salt water. Ryan sent a clear message when he had Frank Fontaine put down. It's time all you learned your place. I tell you what, Ryan. Message received. Loud and clear. And here's what the people of Rapture have to say to you. If you won't give us what we want, we're more than happy to come and take it. Whereabouts of the foreign bitch scientist unknown. Ryan presumes she's dead, but our guess is she's gone underground with the little sisters. Options on obtaining the ace are dwindling. getting hot down here real fast. The goddamn leprechaun is building himself a regular army. You know, if you'd ask my opinion, which you didn't, I'd send a crew down here and clean up the place before they show up on your doorstep. But who am I except some undercover schmuck you sent to give you straight dope? your enemies. Shatter them into a thousand pieces. Just what we needed. That was the last of it. Now you think you can manage the repair? Sure. I've been fixing quantum field generators since kindergarten.
Come on! What are you running away for? to me. I ain't no moron. Ah, uh, come here, baby. I ain't sore. How could you just walk away? Welcome to 
Ryan knows something's up and is sending men to investigate the department store. Suggests you lay in supplies at the Manta Ray Lounge and prepare for a siege. Hmm. Looks like there's something in the Manta Ray Lounge worth investigating. on the coded note to Fontaine. I'm gonna make this clear as can be, so we don't have any miscommunications. Where the hell is the ace in the hole? You think you can stiff Frank Fontaine? I paid good money for state-of-the-art weaponry. I ain't losing this war just because you found yourself a higher bidder. I can promise you, I ain't never been one to lose with dignity. immediately die of CO2 poisoning the moment we turn the thing on. Well, not the perfect phosphor frequency, but it'll do. Okay, that should stop it from overheating. Everything's fixed. We're ready. Let's fire it up and see. What did I tell you? First Lady Mark II was built around a particle lift system just like all the buildings in the city. I read all about it in the Columbian Scientific. The 
particles seated at the top of the structure. Must be up that lift. Perfect. Like a lot of technology just to float an airship. Comstock never heard of hydrogen. The First Lady Mark I did run on hydrogen, and it was destroyed by a single bullet from a Vox sniper. Unfortunately, the Prophet wasn't on board at the time. If I take the active particle, then the First Lady is just a 40-ton paperweight. Best to take the spare. Here we go. Now let's head back through that tear. You honestly expect Atlas to honor his side of the deal? No, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. How do you plan on handling Atlas? into some spliced up maniac. He'll make a mistake. I just have to be ready to take advantage of it when it happens. All for a girl you barely know. How well did you know me when you came to Columbia? Nothing but trouble that way. Best to head straight back to Rapture. Pretty lady not finished yet. What? Open the tear. Power for devices, very expensive. Need for that? Just tell me what you want. Such a more than something as simple. Lock of hair. Oh, you're not serious. Not your hair, stupid. Think, Hodge's secret life. Mothballed, forgotten. In there, hair sample. In jar. Cannot miss it. You get for Sutra. Then, everybody friend. Where's his lab? Closed off, past Fink's quarters. Um, you smart lady, you find Should have seen that one coming. Vox Populi, we must have arrived right in the middle of the siege. That means the other you and I are probably inside the on our way up to the First Lady. And what happens if we run into ourselves? We won't. How do you know that? Because we did. Prep to generate a bullet snatching shield that places ammo into your gun. good service, but I will not hurt the boy. I will see Fink and Comstock burn, but I will not hold the son to account for the deeds of his father. You've misunderstood us. We neither asked you to harm the child. Nor did we promise that yours would be the hand that would set Comstock's world afire. A famous man once said. And a famous man shall say. I may reach the mountaintop. But I fear I shall never visit the valley below. But you mean I won't live to see the... No. It's up to you what matters more. Your part in the play. Or the play itself. Someone is coming. She'll arrive a girl. She must leave a woman. And what makes the difference between a girl and a woman? Blood. Your part in the play. Or the play itself. Turn her into a killer? How? Give the girl no choice. And she will be forced to make one.
is the fate of all hoarders and exploiters. Those who had all will have nothing. Those who idled shall talk. Say it! Long live Daisy Fitzroy. Long live the Bobby Lie. The cause justifies all actions against us. It is our time to serve. Again! Like you mean it! Long live Daisy Fitzroy. Long live the Vox Populi. The cause justifies all actions against us. Hey, kill her! Go! need. But sometimes I feel that all I have to offer them is blood and fire. The things they've done to me, I can't forget them. I was Columbia's victim, and victimhood begets shame. Oh, what element of human experience is more corrosive than shame? I'm rotted from the inside out. For this revolution except my own dark motivations when all is said and done what's more important to me the people i want to save are those i want to murder in their beds There's a war coming. You can smell it in the air. Fear. Hatred. People dying every day. My living quarters got reassigned all night. I'm sleeping in Fink's bed tonight. <laughs> There's a war coming. You can smell it in the air. Fear. Hatred. 
people dying every day. But how many more will suffer if we rise up? Violence begets violence, I know this. I've seen this. The rational mind argues for a peaceful solution to find a common ground, but what common ground is there to find for a father who watches his child bleed out in the street? How do you deny him his vengeance? I know that fire that burns deep inside. I know it all too well. And when the time comes, will I be able to stay to hand? so that others may live free from the yoke. The wit knew the price and paid it willingly. And I sense what the Lutest twins will one day ask of me. So far, their counsel has served me well. Served the revolution well. If a bullet takes me, so be it. But to offer myself up as a lamb? When I come to my garden of Gethsemane, will I play my role willingly? How will I burn the place down to the roots? Looks like the mechanism unlocks certain activities when Fink gives his blessing. So what? We're stuck waiting for the cuckoo to go off? No, there's a... there's a slot for some kind of key for manual winding. We just gotta find that. Sure seems like a lot of work to lock down a few doors. You well, know, if there's one thing Fink loves, it's a lot of work. current state of being, or lack thereof, has left my brother unfulfilled. The biological urge to leave one's mark is strong, and it is not an impossibility. We could instantiate ourselves back in Colombia, return to an old life for the possibility of creating new. But we died in that world. Returning would mean giving up part of us. Ourselves. We'd become flesh and all that it is heir to. The mysteries of the universe would become once again... Mysteries. 
We've got the clock key. Could that Oriental have come up with a more inconvenient fuel for his plasmids? If there is a god, and I've seen more evidence to the contrary than in support, you'd think he'd have put Adam into the belly of a nice little seagull or crow. The cost of all these underwater expeditions are murdering my margins! As to the matter of religion, let me place myself in the camp of the agnostic. I pretend to understand the mysteries of the infinite no more than you, Comstock, or anyone else for that matter. But for the sake of argument, let's say this is all one unhappy accident, and we are all alone in our toils. Then who would Comstock use to control and shame us with rules that apply only to those with not a penny in their pocket? If there were no God, you could rest assured the first deed done by the first rich man would be inventing him. Idiot, his lock of hair. Listen, I got you your gun. I'm here for my issue. But my Booker DeWitt died for the Vox Popula. You either an imposter or a ghost. My Booker DeWitt was a hero to the cause. Look, are you there? I miss you. You were the only one who ever... You were my only friend. Hooker. I'm not even here. I'm a projection of your own. Did you humor me then? Please. I think Booker would miss you.
Jesus is right in here. Say, somebody, uh, fetch me a millionaire to clean this mess up. So the foxes are afraid of the hens. If Fink was going to hire a bunch of goons to keep an eye on the handymen, he should have found someone less yellow in the belly. Now they're hiding away from Tin Man invalids in their precious little guard room. If you need to get in there on your shift, the code is 2847.
me up to kill her, to, to turn me in, to turn me into what? A killer. Yeah, well, mission accomplished. I'm no martyr. How did you do it, Booker? How did you... Elizabeth, I'm not Booker. And neither am I. I know there's been some concern about the nature of the work we do here at Fink Manufacturing. Why, some say they're uncomfortable with the purported harm and suffering our research brings. But friends, let me pose a simple question. Is there anything you would not do to guarantee the health and safety of your loved ones? My interest is the future health of your children. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure.
sample in a haystack. Stark promises there's nothing to be worried about. But I don't like the smell of things down in Finkton. Not one bit. If trouble rears its ugly head in the form of one cantankerous negress, I've laid in some supplies in the event of a forced evacuation. They're down in what I call my chamber of panic, near the base of my statue. I've set the code to 8371.
Which side are you on?
hand! No surrender! Suchong were sharing their research. Like the Lutessas. Cross reality collaboration. It all makes a kind of sense. The little sisters and the big daddies. Songbird and me. Constants and variables. That's a wire mother. If you separate a gorilla from its real mother, it will imprint on almost anything. Even that. Why would Fink care about that? Songbird. He wanted him to imprint on me. Well, if I recall, that was a problem he solved. Skeletal formula for oxytocin. That's the chemical that bonds mothers to children, women to men, and songbirds to little girls. Apparently not. Fink dismissed it as an unsuitable vector. These poor things. Fink couldn't get them to imprint. 
So I left them to die. Imprinting failed. That can't be right. Clearly they formed a connection between Songbird and me. So? Oh. I was so young. I... I always remember him just being there. There must be a prototype or something. Uh, is it human? Does it matter? I tried hypnotherapy. <laughs> On the songbird. How'd that go? About as well as you'd expect. Tower. I, I guess he was in some sort of fight. I waited there thinking, thinking, I, I don't know, that something would happen, but, but he just lay there, moaning. I couldn't just... The line with the thorn in its paw. So much for science. I should have just left him there to die. I should have just... I will never escape it. Exploited, exploiting, me, Comstock, you, Sally. It's like a wheel of blood spinning round and round. Well, this must be the genetic sample Su Chong wanted. He sent you all the way back here for a sample of your own hair. He doesn't know I was once the child that imprinted on Songbird. But to him, all the answers lie in DNA. Men like Su Chong mistake an ounce of empathy for a pound of science. <laughs> Time to go back. I know. It's open! See if anything's worth reappropriating. Check for stragglers! Spread out!
has occurred to me that this breakthrough regarding the songbird casts my arrangement with the Oriental Doctor in a new light. What more could be gained by this continued partnership? What secrets that I could not answer for myself? Su Chong can only offer table scraps, and Jeremiah Fink has richer meat in mind. What you got there? And I'm just grabbing anything that looks halfway there. Over here! Shake a leg! Uh, since when did you become Lord and Master? Used to toe for the man. But now at least I toe for myself. Where are you going? I'll find that piggy! Come out! Long live dead! 
Daisy really even had a choice. What do you mean? Right about now, I'm planting a pair of scissors in her back to protect a child she was never going to harm. She chose to die for her revolution. What about me? For all the endless worlds, all the infinite possibilities. Did I ever even have a choice? Did you? Yeah. Booker thought he did. Look where it got us. Right back where we started. All these infinite universes. And yet we end up just going down the same paths. No, I'll take your meaning. My father's soul was coming. Comstock locked me up in a tower. I saw Revenge to prove a point? And yet, here you are, settling the debt. And say we find her. The old past their damage to the young. Isn't it too late for her now? Well, I'd say that's up to her to decide. Just as coming back here was up to you. Rapture runs on children. Little girls with gold growing in their bellies. I'm not gonna break any cycle. I'm lucky. Maybe I can dent it. Just a little. Pretty lady has the hair. Deal is deal. Bring it to Suchong. Pretty lady put hair sample in tube. Put the sample then? in tube of business. Is it finished? What's going on out there? Bloodshed, violence. But not relevant to our arrangement. Su Chong! Su Chong, we had a deal now. Open! Do you know what they call someone who enters a man's home? Uninvited. A thief. And I do not remember inviting you into my city. I had a deal with Su Chong. Yi Su Chong is my employee. It was not a deal he was authorized to make. What do you want? I granted Atlas and his thugs asylum. You serve those same men in a desire to escape from my generosity. If they shall not have asylum, then they shall have liquidation. Give a parasite an ounce of charity. He'll demand a pound. I'm just looking for a girl that was taken from me. A little sister. I don't claim to understand what you are. But I know that you are special. There is business we can do together. And so I give you a choice. Work for me. Or die with Atlas. I'm not going anywhere without that girl. If it's a little sister you want, that shouldn't stand in the way of commerce. I've got dozens of them. I won't leave without her. 
My men stand ready to take down the door. In 60 seconds, they will enter the room. They will either treat you as a valued employee of Ryan Industries, or as a thief in the night. 60 seconds. There must be half a dozen of them or more. I've got to get ready. No traps. I can use the plasmids as traps in it and seed the room with them. Them. Take them down one by one. Booker, I'm scared. They'll underestimate you, Elizabeth. People always do. Forty seconds. You know what I see on your face? Uncertainty. Who is this girl to you? Thirty seconds. Do you know the value of the shark? Without them, she would be littered with a detritus. Of the weak, the men who come for you have much in common with those great animals. What sharks do for the ocean, these men do for rapture. Twenty seconds. I will tell you something you already sense. Atlas does not honor agreements, and Orion does. I cannot save your Sally, but I can save you. Time. You're not a hero. You're not even a parasite. You're just a room. And Andrew Ryan has no time for rooms. Hunt you down Who's like that? an animal. Here's the girl. Come on out. You got my full attention. Gotcha. Don't think you can hide. They're down for the count. I know you've done it. Phoenix. This one's down for I've got you cold! Stupid jerk. Should have never stuck his neck out. About gun. What was that? You should have taken Ryan's deal. Get back here! Nothing personal, sweet. You're still here, aren't you? Don't think you can hide. There's the girl! Ah! This one's down for the count. We're not all E time to pick. Ah! I beat your sharks, Ryan. The better man won. Isn't that the only thing you respect? Now let me the hell out of here! Sounds like all hell's breaking loose out there. What's your plan? I can't just place the particle on the ceiling, it would just tear right through it. But every building in Rapture was submerged into the ocean on a lunette ring, connected to the junction of its load-bearing supports. That's fascinating and all, but if you haven't noticed, Ryan sent his goons to murder us. If you're gonna pull a rabbit out of a hat, now's the time to do it. Looks like the structural junction is in Frank Fontaine's office. If I can get there, I can float the building. It so happens I've taken that bastard's office for my own use. I'll make sure you've access to the private elevator. Now hurry.
We're not finished! I got what I can! Had any You wouldn't be skulking around! Try and go squad! Wait in, boys. Time to get your hands dirty. Where do you go? Right, I'm gonna prep for my next move. Stupid jerk. Should have never stuck his neck out. Not sure which one of these jerks thought it was a good play getting in the ring with Ryan. Show yourself! Disappear the girl and Atlas's crew. Back before happy hour. Stupid jerk. Should have never stuck his neck out. Time's up, you got to... Where is she? Oh. Lady, you're working my last Better nerve. Better than me, pal. I'm not taking the next bullet. Supposed to be a brunette. Anyone seen her? Look around! The rest of Atlas's crew are barricaded up that elevator shaft. When the backup arrives, go in and take them out easy. Hide and seek. This one's down for the count. 
We're not all easy targets, you get me? Anyone come across this girl he mentioned? Don't think you can hide. I know. And I'm ready. Are you sure? I sent myself here for a reason. Didn't I? And who exactly are you speaking to, Miss Comstock? If I were less acquainted with the vicissitudes of genius, I suspect I would question your sanity. I know so little of you, but I imagine the more I learned, the more exceptional I would find you. You know Atlas will betray you. And what are you? My best friend? You're one of a kind in this world. Or others. And now, your misguided sense of altruism sends you to your doom. It's like watching Isaac Newton die in a house fire. A vain attempt to save his cat. There, there, there. All the load-bearing columns come into this room and they meet... They meet there. Now, just need to place the particle in that junction, 
Activate it and the whole structure should rise. There's no plan B. Might as well just get it over with. As soon as the chloroform wears off, don't see her as too tough a nut. Where's the ace in the hole? Where's the ace in the hole? I don't... I don't know what you're talking about. Look, we had a deal. Where I, is the ace in the hole? I told you. I told Sodium falpentol. Are you familiar? <clears throat> no. Truth serum. Unpredictable stuff. Too little, nothing. I have Too nothing... Much. Tell you. I don't even know about. what an ace in the hole is. Ah! I am still playing uh, with the dosage. Uh, 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 this world values children, not childhood. There's a profit to be made, and men who make it. deal was to get you out of prison. What, did you expect me to win your war for you too? I'd tend to your own knitting if I were you. Now, darling, being that you were Su Chong's lab assistant and all, why not tell me where me ace in the hole went to? I don't know. What As I said, I'm no doctor. But that doesn't mean I don't find the field fascinating. I keep up on all the medical journals and the like. 
I hope you have someone to help you with all the big words. You know what part of the brain free will comes from? Stubbornness. The prefrontal lobe. Now, I think it's fair to say you're a bit of a stubborn one, are you not? A man named Steinman taught me this. He's a bit of a lunatic, but a fine surgeon. He calls this little trick a transorbital lobotomy. Take hold of her, lads. You're wasting your now, time. If you won't remain still, I can't be held responsible for what comes next. Here we go. You feel that? I'm moving the pick across your eyeball. Still now. And resting it on your skull. There's about a bit over a quarter of an inch of bone between the pick and your prefrontal lobe. And that's where this little fella comes in. I don't... Shh. It was just a wee tap. But I don't expect it'll take more than a few of those to reach the meat. And then we might find you a bit less the mule. Where's me ace in the hole? I don't know. You know right. what else rests in the lobe? Creativity. <laughs> Individuality. <laughs> personality. <laughs> in short, what makes you, you. <sighs> I'm just about through now. Last chance, pet. Where is the ace in the hole? <laughs> or what? What, you'll put a hole in my head and take away my memories? You want to make me forget all this? You want to make me not care anymore? Go ahead. You'll be doing me a favor. Oh! <laughs> Bring in the monster! You're a regular hero, ain't you? Can't risk ripping the only part of you that's worth the damn. Well, there's more than one way to fry an egg. Now, little woman, are you familiar with the term transorbital lobotomy? Please let her it's go! It's a simple matter. All I need to do is insert this pig into please, your eye. Please, I don't know and anything! Two I... taps with me. Hammer. I don't know anything! Better to show by example. Please! Please don't! I... I don't know anything! I... I don't know! Please! Shh, it's okay. It's okay. Listen, it's okay. I can't tell him what I don't know. Where are we? You saw all the doors. And what's behind all the doors. The ace in the hole. It's here. Yes. But I don't... I don't remember this place. You've never been here. Then how would it... The memories you lost, they weren't just of the past. You saw behind all the doors. Even the ones into the future. This is where I'm going. If you want. I... I don't like it here. It's a bad place. He's never gonna let me go, is he? Even if I bring him the ace. Then why am I here? How if I was so smart? If I saw so much, why just send myself to the slaughter? For Sally. No, one day he will just rip her open and tear out her atom. All of this for nothing. Why did I do it? Why? You have to decide. Decide what? To take a leap of faith. I can't tell you what you were thinking because you don't remember. But you chose to come. There. In that room. The Ace. I don't know what to do, Booker. I... B Booker? Booker! No, please. Please just don't leave me here! Booker! Chong's clinic. It's at Su Chong's clinic. That's a bit convenient now. Ryan's got every turret in the place tuned to me and me man's genetic code. 
We'd be torn to shreds before we got ten feet. That's right. Which is why I'm gonna do it for you. You okay with that? Get me the ace. I'll wrap the brat in a silk ribbon. Bag her and bring her to my bathosphere. <sighs> One of the lads will show you how to get inside. <coughs> we'll be waiting for you where you come out. Shake a leg now. The Lord hates a laggard. Plasmids? We're burning through ten times the amount of atom compared to the injectables. And if you fail to notice, them sea slugs ain't exactly growing on trees. Switch back to the injectables and let the eggheads in marketing worry about selling it to the chumps. anyone. Scary. Shh. Shh. Can you move? <laughs> Can you just move a little bit for me? Don't... I don't know how to help you. I... I don't. No, he's... He's just hurt. He... He just needs somebody to, to, to figure out how to fix him. I... Maybe there's some... I don't know. Is there some documentation for him around here or something? <sighs> right. Look who I'm asking. Big Daddy will not imprint. If not imprint, what good is he to little sister? She no like him. He no like her. Situation is impasse. Unacceptable.
stupid beasts had a half brain. They would realize they need little sister to live. Sisters secrete only kind of atom that is genetic match for them. No little sister. No big daddy. Got to do something. Big monster sick. Big monster it's okay. Sick. It's it's okay. Please, I, I don't know how to help him. He needs Adam. I I don't have any of that. I, I don't know what to do. Going to die. Not fair. We can help. Of all the things I know, I know this. It is in your power to be a different man. What can Ryan take from us that we have not already sacrificed at the altar of discovery? They are children, little sisters, and yes, they will forget. But you and I won't. The memories of what we have done fade only with the dimming of all lights. Tenenbaum. Just another for me. Get away. Maybe if I modify the genetic sequence to sure. uh, sequence to allow for Get away, you filthy little shit! What? What are you doing? Get, get back! Get back! The ace and the hole. All the pain and all of the death for this.
Hey, sister. Over here. Do you have it? I have it. Give it over, then. I'm keen to get this brat off me hands. You know what? Andrew Ryan said I was a rube. But he was wrong. I'm not the rube, Atlas. You are. <laughs> we both know what happens next. Just get it over with. Well, love, if you insist. What is this? It's just a bunch of gibberish. What, what does, does this say, say, you little whore? Hey, hey, hey! What does this say? you kindly. We've got the activation phrase. Now all we've got to do is get that genetic freak of nature on an airplane and rapture's ours. Yeah! Save the world entire. This is you who are the savior. I can see all the doors and what's behind all the doors. And behind one of them. Incredibly, I see him. Il est entré dans mon cœur une part de bonheur dont je connais la cause. Quand il 
me prend dans ses bras, il me parle tout bas, je vois la vie en rose. Il me dit des mots d'amour, des mots de tous les jours, et ça me fait quelque chose. Par de bonheur dont je connais la cause C'est toi pour moi, moi pour toi dans la vie Tu me l'as dit, à jurer pour la vie Dès que je t'aperçois, alors je sens dans moi You ready? See the pyramids along the Nile Watch the sun rise from a tropic isle Just remember, darling, all the while You belong to me See the marketplace in old Algiers Send me photographs and souvenirs Just remember when a dream appears You belong to me And I'll be so alone Without you Maybe you'll be lonesome too And blue Fly the ocean in a silver plane See the jungle when it's wet with rain just remember till you're home again You belong to me I'll be so alone without you Maybe you'll be lonesome Fly the ocean in a silver plane See the jungle when it's wet with rain Just remember to your home again You belong to me Yeah? I think about it. Can I clap? <laughs> <laughs>
Always hot and hurry like a rat in a race Like a fly by at such a frantic pace Need to freeze a moment, put your worries on ice We got a plan before you, that's just the spice Chill out Relax Be cooler than the coolest cats When things heat up, don't be a fool With old man winter, you can keep your cool Feeling hot under the collar? Stay frosty with the plasmid that lets you enjoy life at a cool pace. Turn down the heat and turn up the ease and relaxation with Old Man Winter from Ryan Industries. Keep your cool in Old Man Winter.